Good morning, welcome back to week 38 of BTHQ Banter. This year is going so fast. Um, it is Friday and I'm here today to teach our one day intensive sewing course. We've got just four pupils on it today, which is really nice. We're all prepared and good to go. Good, blah, 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 good to go. Um, yesterday I did actually come in. We had an event here um, called the Menopause Mingle, which was my lovely friend Angie who came came down from Edinburgh and she hosted an event to talk to us ladies of a certain age um, about what they like to call the third age which I think is a really nice way of putting it um, and we had a nice day but I didn't pick the camera up because obviously it's a very personal subject and I don't think everybody that was here necessarily wanted to be on the camera but what I did was crack on um, with some of my projects so I've been doing a little bit of a project working with some of the crazy patch that I have been doing recently so I've got lots done which was nice I'm going to carry on with some of it today as well as alter my husband's trousers. Now our good friends are getting married on Saturday. He is officiating their service um, and they're kind of master of ceremonies and last night he said to me my trousers are a bit tight around my calves can you take a look? I've got one day at work today when I'm teaching all day. Yes my love let me have a look. Anyway, they were a little bit tight around the calves, so I got the old seam ripper out. Um, I can put this on the video now because the wedding will have been bin and gone by the time Dana actually sees this because... <laughs> I know she does watch my YouTube channel and Dana it was quite frightening I was in the kitchen literally down either side of the seams on Stuart's trousers um, but I am about to just stitch them with a slightly narrower seam allowance so they don't quite look like they have been spray painted onto his calves anyway we will see how the, the day goes and I will catch up with you a bit later whoop focus focus so it is 10 to 12 and the ladies have just finished their first project. You all made a thing in less than two hours, which is pretty awesome. Show us your boxes. <laughs> Yay, I'm gonna turn around actually, hang on. There we go, ta-da! Got fruity boxes, <laughs> let <us> pose in. <laughs> Yay, fantastic. Now, the question is, what else could you do with these boxes right now? As well as picking them up and waving them. <laughs> Can you do something else with your There we go! There's always one who turns it into a hat. So we're going to go outside for our photo shoot now. Do you want to line up along here, ladies, alongside the pots? So. Right, show us your finished projects. This is on video. So give us a little wiggle. You all had a good time? Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. Good. So that's another day over at BTHQ. It's been a fairly quiet one today, just with the four ladies, but it's been really nice to see them all create lots of lovely stuff. I've been really busy behind the scenes sewing up my crazy patch bag. This is going to be a new tutorial for part of our sewing club. So I've got that done. I've got another one all cut out ready to film, um, which I'm going to be doing next week. And that's all really very exciting. I'm actually going to leave the camera here because I don't need it tomorrow. I'm going to the wedding um, and I don't need it Sunday. So I'm going to leave it here so that when Maddie's teaching pattern drafting to tomorrow um, she can capture some video footage of the bits and pieces that she gets up to so we'll see what happens next Woo. okay so welcome back to BTHQ Banta I have the studio today Saturday and we have been doing part two of pattern drafting so we have let's flip it around Suzanne's making tea because we stopped for some lunch and the sun is shining so we're outside having something to eat and then we're going to go back in and flip this round again it's too bright oh no it's upside down there we go look it's upside down i don't know what to do claire <laughs> i don't know what i've done anyway once we're finished now it's all dark claire's gonna love you're gonna love this <laughs> Once we're finished with lunch, we'll come back in and we will get our fabric cut out and we'll get our tops made up and then we'll prep for pattern drafting part. Whee! Bye! 
Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Tuesday. Um, I have had just a one-to-one -one lady this morning, just learning the basics of invisible zips. And the rest of today, I have set aside to film our next So Beautiful Things Sewing Club project. So there's no classes happening today. Carol has popped in though. She's come in to use the lounge and she's brought in the samples for our Christmas knitting workshop. So let me show you them. Now, firstly though, we have to say, Carol's brought her own mug in today carol is a little bit of a rick astley fan so she didn't fancy one of our mugs instead we're going to have a little bit of rick appreciation there we go anyway <laughs> Here are the little creatures that she has created for our Christmas knitting classes. We've got these little angels. Now the debate is on. I think they need faces. Carol thinks they might need faces. Carol's Knitting Club doesn't think they need faces. But I think if you have white wings on them, they do just look a bit like a ghost. I like them. <laughs> I think they need faces or halos. We've got these little Santas. These are really cute little um, standing decorations. They've just got a card inside them. We've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas Bauble. It's a bit dark to see him, but he's very cute. And these little flat Christmas trees, which are great. You can just add these to Christmas cards. So that's going to be one of our Christmas knitting classes. Well, that's been quite productive, if I do say so myself. Um, I have got the main outside. Ooh, I can't get hold of it. It's like a beast. And um, the main outside of our new bag completed um, and all filmed. I just need to edit that all together now, which is going to take forever. Um, I'm just going to have a quick tidy up now because it's time to go and get um, the wee ones from school. And Maddie is back in tonight teaching part two of our three week beginners sewing class. So I'm going to leave the camera here again for her so she can pick it up. I have seen some of the footage from earlier on like the weekend. Maddie, you have got to practice this camera control love and um, especially if you're going to be a podcaster and if you haven't already know or blah 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 if you don't already know if you don't follow our free facebook group maddie has started her own channel on youtube so i will link it down below in the description go check her out she's done a couple of videos already and a q a telling us all about herself so you can go and see what she's up to with her sewing too just remember that when you sign up and subscribe to her channel, you say hello and that I sent her over. So I will sign off for now, back tomorrow. Again, fairly quiet day tomorrow. Um, I think I've just got a couple of one-to-ones. No, that's a complete and utter lie. In the morning, we have our next lot of three-week beginner sewers daytime starting. So they've got their first lesson. Then I have a one-to-one -one in the afternoon and then I've got a little bit more filming time um, and that will then be the end of this week's BTS. HQ banter and I am heading off on a very exciting trip so I will now turn the camera off and I will hand over to Maddie Hello and welcome back to BTHQ Banter. Today is Wednesday and I'm joined with a full studio today of lovely ladies all starting their first week on their three week beginners sewing class, our daytime schedule. Now excitingly, we've had a delivery from Amazon this morning. This is the last time you're going to see me on this shaky dodgy old camera because I've got a new one. I have ordered myself the new Canon G7X Mark III. So this camera that you are watching me on now is hopefully going to become our new overhead camera as long as we are successful in getting our crowdfunding sorted. But we are almost there. Um, today we hit the three quarters of the way mark and we've got another 15 days, I think. Um, so fingers crossed we will get there. Anyway, I'll come back to you a little bit later once everyone's got some bits Made. It doesn't beep anymore when you press record. That's worth knowing. So the first batch of pupils to be filmed on the new camera. Say hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> I've got to train you better. You're supposed to say hello everybody. <laughs> say hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> Show us your boxes. Ta-da! Fantastic. Everyone happy with those? Brilliant. <laughs> All right, outside for a photo shoot. So another week is over at BTHQ. All I've got to do is pick up my Netherlands necessary clutch wallet 
and my Annette commuter tote because they are heading to Amsterdam. I'm so excited. I'm going home now. Um, tomorrow is packing and housework day and we're not in focus. I'm going to have to get used to using this new camera. Oh, there we go. Packing and housework day and then Friday morning myself, Elspeth and mum are heading off to Amsterdam. We're then going to travel by train to Utrecht which is about 30 minutes away, not too far um to hit up the fabric markets i'm so excited um i will be vlogging the entire trip um just like i did last time i went i won't bother necessarily with all the travel part because you're not really interested in that i get on a train i get on a plane i get on a train i check into a hotel um but all of the fabric -y buy -y bits and all of the fun that we have while we're there rest assured i will catch on camera but the great thing is now that i've got this new one it's going to come with me it also means that I can leave the old one here in the studio for Maddie, which means when she's teaching on Saturday, she can capture some footage. And we also have the lovely Carol back in, who is going to be teaching um, stained glass. She's going to be doing an elephant light catcher, which is beautiful so it'll be really nice to be able to capture some of that class while i'm away so we will see you all again next week and then there will be lots of amsterdam videos coming up for you soon i hope you've enjoyed this week do check out the rest of the videos on the channel there's lots of really good tutorials that have gone up this week as well and i will see you all again really soon thank you for watching